Another regular guy demo here. A question that even plagued Shakespeare. To be chambered or not to be chambered? As an instructor, when people ask me that question, I tell them, look, it's a personal decision. It's one that you have to make based on your environment and your comfort level. If you're going to carry unchambered, you have to know how to chamber immediately. If you carry chambered sometimes, and sometimes you don't, in the middle of a self-defense encounter, which one is it? Do you know? So you know what? It's okay to drop around, spend around out of the chamber just to be sure when you're coming up. So we're going to draw the chamber. You always want to use the thumb. Very simple. Clear. You're coming up. Grabbing. Up. And chambering as you push out. Play the same. You don't want to chamber or put your finger inside the trigger guard until you're up and pointed in the direction of your threat and away from yourself and your loved ones. In real time. No substitute for practice or for getting you put your plugs in. <laughs> when it comes to carrying chambered or not chambered, just make sure you practice with whatever choice you make. Just practice with your choice. Thanks.